Hello everyone, what's up? Prince of Team here with a channel update that I do every so often uh, around, around these parts. So uh, it's kind of that time of year again. Um, if you've been around on my channel for a while, uh, you know that on the occasion there's a moment in time where I pop up to say good news, bad news. The good news is I'm working on a lot of stuff that I'm sure everyone's going to like. The bad news is, because I'm working on said stuff that everyone's going to like, uh, the channel will be dead for a short time since I'm busy working on big projects and uh, I've run out of stockpiled things to uh, upload week to week, such as, uh, you know, like toy reviews and funny video game moments and stuff like that. So it's, uh, so it's, it's one of the, so yeah, this is one of those videos where I go, yeah, I'm going to disappear for a, a little while, but, uh, I, I will be back, but this time it's not going to be too terribly long of a wait. Um, I actually, it's, it's funny. I, <laughs> I had so much content stockpiled for the first half of 2024 that I really thought I'd be, I'd need to be making this video like a month ago, but I had, but because of like bad batch and a lot of footage I had, you know, video game stuff I had piled up. I had so much of that stuff ready to go. Um, and I got done so far ahead of time. No, not the bad batch reviews, but it's like, you know, like video game moments and reviews and stuff. I had so much of that done and so much of it ready, <laughs> you know, so much of it just period that, um, you know, I've basically, I haven't really worked on like a quote unquote new thing for the channel in terms of one of those videos in like two months. And <laughs> I'm just now run out of of stuff while I've been working on other things. So, uh, because of that, um, for the next two weeks, there will not be any new uploads. Uh, but then after that, when we, when we enter June, that is when the Acolyte starts the new Star Wars Disney Plus series. So I, of course, will be doing reviews of that. So you'll start to get some, uh, some of those videos back. And then I'm doing, and I'm working on some Transformers reviews right now. So those will probably be out, um, in June, so I, I, that way I can get back to having two videos a week, and then I've got uh, lots of video game footage stockpiled that I can start releasing those as well, so, um, so yeah, June, there'll be fresh stuff coming out again, but for the last two and a half-ish weeks of May here, what, whatever, whatever that comes out to with the math, um, yeah, won't, won't be any new uploads, um, so I do apologize for that, but like I said, for those of you that have been around for a while, you know where this typically leads. So what have I been working on that um, has required, you know, the the slowdown on making sure I have things ready to go? So I've been working a lot on a lot of stop motion filming. I've been working on Transformers, which I know everyone is probably looking forward to. Uh, hopefully by midsummer, I will have more to say about that. Um, but in terms of like an actual firm release date. Um, but for now, just know that work is progressing very well. Um, I have gotten episode 11, 12, and 13 filmed. So those are all filmed. And let me tell you, I cannot be happier with my voice actors right now because the voice actors for the show are giving me tons of stuff. Not only are is the, Not only have they given me the, the stuff for the three episodes I have filmed, several of them have been working so far ahead that they've now finished episodes 11 through 20, which <laughs> I'm not even anywhere near close to, to getting that stuff filmed because it's like, well, I've just finished 13, so what's next? 14. So, uh, so yeah, that's... So I'm very, I'm very appreciative of them. I can't thank them enough for their diligence and how hard they've been working on giving me uh, voice lines. So their so their part of the project's probably going to be done <laughs> way sooner than my part is. Um, so so that so that is good news. That means that things are progressing very well, um, and that there won't be any. And like like I said in the last Knights of Cybertron update video, um, with the way with the way I've now scheduled out my you know working on working on this, there will no longer be any two year gaps between episodes. It's like there's still going to be there's still going to be a gap between episodes because the last episode was in December, no October. Yeah, yeah, October episode ten was out in October, um, and then I'm going to have some episodes ready to go for closer to the end of the year. So I mean, there's going to be you know like uh, 
for this time around, there's going to be a year, you know, ish gap, you know, 10, 11 months, maybe a year ish gap between episodes. But that is literally cutting the wait time in half compared to, you know, what it was last time around where it was, you know, like two years and some months and change. So, so with the way things are going, it's, it, it's going to, I'm definitely, the, the waits are going to get shorter and shorter. And then by the, and then the wait for episodes like 16 through 20 is probably not even going to be a year. It's probably going to be like five to six months uh, with how well people have been working ahead and where I am with my scheduling for knowing how to film this, film this stuff. So that, so that's all very good news. Um, in, in term, in terms of that, uh, the, the filming, it has been an interesting experience working on that because I'm using different techniques than I did for episodes one through 10 and even 11 and 12, which I mostly filmed last year. And I just did some pickups and stuff, uh, a while, a while back to get those finished off. And then, but 13 was filmed completely differently because I've switched from using a digital camera to a webcam and an actual stop motion software now. So that has basically required a top down, you know, restructuring of how I work on things in, in terms of how they're filmed. So I filmed all of 13 and there, and I was, it's, 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 it's turned out, I think it's going to turn out well, but there were a couple of things where I'm like, I was kind of going, Hmm, I think this could use some refinement. So I did, I had, so I finished filming episode 13, like at the big end of April. Yeah, that sounds right. At the end of April. So, and then I, and I haven't started on episode 14 yet because I took a quick break to work on a short Lego star Wars project to kind of hone some of those skills and trouble, you know, problem areas that I kind of identified while filming episode 13 of transformers. And so all right. And so I'm about halfway through editing that. I think, okay, so already backtracking on what I, <laughs> on what I said, um, I did, I don't know. I may, I may put out this Lego star Wars thing next week, like a week from today when this video is going up. Um, so there would, so there is actually maybe some new stuff heading your way. So the channel's not going to be completely dead. Um, but then the week after that, I definitely won't have anything ready to go. And of course this is if I get that done, in time, I may decide, and I may decide to hold this video. Like I said, I'm only about halfway through editing it, so uh, I don't know. But if you do see that pop up, don't be surprised, I suppose. But uh, anyway, so already being halfway through editing, it's already paying off, and it's like, okay, yes, now now that I'm actually filmed this and putting it through the editing program and everything, and now now I really know how to how I should proceed going forward with Transformers um, and the small little issues I had while filming 13, I've got, uh, now that I've worked on the Star Wars thing, I'm getting those ironed out, and it's like, okay, now I understand how to do this better, and that's going to make for an overall better product for episode 14 going forward to Transformers. So I'm very, very happy with how that's all turning out. Um, I'm, I'm adding in some new special effects to make the special effects look a little better. Uh, you know, the frames per second has been up, so there's going to be there's going to be more smooth movement and everything. So o- overall, this is just going to be a great big leap forward in terms of the production of my stop motions. And when this Lego Star Wars thing comes out in a week or two, um, I think you'll all I think so. E- so if if you watch my st- my Transformer stop motions and you don't really necessarily care for Star Wars or any or um, any of the other stuff I do, I will, I would recommend watching the star Wars thing that's going to come out because I think it is going to give you a sense of how transformers is going to look go, going forward. And I think you'll probably be, be pleased with that. Cause I'm definitely pleased with that, with that, with how everything's looking. So, um, so yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah, there's that I've been working on that. Um, then I do want to mention Ninjago really quick because I know that um, the new season of Dragons Rising is out, um, but I have I have yet to start watching it, which I feel bad. But I've been so busy working on this stuff, it's like I've I've hardly had time to do anything else, which is why I'm making this video in the first place. Because like I said, I've been so busy working on that, I haven't had time to, uh, you know, work on any other videos. Which so and I haven't even had time to watch Ninjago, which I want to get to it. Because I've heard lots of good things about this new season, and I'm excited to get and I'm excited to get to it and review it, um, 
so Fear Not Ninjago fans, that is on my to-do list, and that's probably going to be something I try to knock out in June um, when I when I get things a little more under control. I mean, things are under control, but when I really get rolling on Transformers again now that I've kind of ironed out some of the kinks. Because um, with with the way I've been filming and everything, it's like, it's not like... It's not like back in the day when I was filming projects when I was in high school or whatever. Um, because, because I have a, I have a, you know, big boy job and it's overnights and, and stuff. Um, it kind of, you know, it's a different schedule than most people. So uh, it's not a nine to five job. So I, it's been kind of a, in, on top of filming things with the new setup, it's also been a, well, when do I find the time to film? What are good days to film? Do I like try to do some filming after work? Does that work out? So it's, it's been, it's been kind of a, it's a challenge to, but it's not a, not a, been more of a challenge isn't the right word, but it's just been a, 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 an adjustment period. That's a good word for it. That's a good way to put it. It's just been an adjustment period of finding out how to do continue doing these things that I've done for years at this point, but just doing them in a different way now because it had been, because other than like some of the studio short stuff I did last year, um, I hadn't, I didn't really do hardly any filming last year at all. So um, it was, it was, that was more like that. There was a big, because I mean, I did a lot of editing on transformers. I did some pickups, for, for stuff that I, uh, for like episode 10, and I'm like, oh, I didn't get that shot. I thought I got that shot. Well, let's get this shot real quick. Stuff like that. Um, and then, and then I, you know, kind of redid my whole filming setup and it's like, okay, we're done with the digital camera. We're getting a webcam. So last year there was a lot of changes being implemented. And now this year we're, we're, you know, we're seeing the, the fruits of that labor and seeing the effects of, of that change. So, uh, and I, I think it's all going to definitely, be worth it. Um, so yeah, I don't really think I have too much else to say. So yeah, so yeah, uh, long story short, um, that, that Lego Star Wars thing may or may not be out next week. I don't know why like, that's just going to depend on when I get that, the editing done on that. Cause it does take a while to edit these. It's always taken a while to edit these, but especially now it's taking a, it's probably going to take a smidgen longer to edit these just because it's a new, I'm editing in a different way. There's going to be, you know, you know, again, more of an adjustment period where I'm kind of relearning some things because I'm doing the same things, but now in a different way. So, I mean, but yeah, so it's, it's all, it's all a learning, you know, learning experience. Um, but it's all, it's all turning out really well. Uh, so yeah, the channel kind of dead for the next two weeks depending on when that Lego Star Wars thing gets finished again I may I may save that uh, I may I may put it out immediately who knows I'll, I'll figure that out when it gets done and then um, I'm gonna try to have a dragon's rising review out in June and um, hopefully by July or August I'll have more of an official word on when Knights of Cybertron will be ready to ready for chapter three to start officially. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's really too much else to say. I will just go ahead and leave you guys with just a little, a little something here. Uh, so this is, this is, this was what was really kind of, it's like, okay, I need to do some, I need to do something else to really test out some of these, to test out some of these new techniques I'm using. So, Cause I, I was, I was filming 13 and I was just kind of thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if this is even going to look good. So I took a day off from filming and, and used some of the footage I'd used for filming. And I, and I made this, this little thing right here that you're about to see. Um, so, and it, and it, that was like, okay, yeah, I need to, I probably need to <laughs> do something, but it, t- I think it turned out well. It was just definitely, a, I need to refine some things here and I refine things I have. Um, so what, so what you're about to see, it is just a short little, this is some footage from episode 13. There's no dialogue. It's just sound effects. It's like 45 seconds long, um, just to test out some of the new visual effects and the new stop motion techniques and everything. 
So the backgrounds are not final. Uh, there are leftovers from chapters one and two of Knights of Cybertron. So not everything is going to line up perfectly. There's going to be some, wa- there's a couple like wonky background shots and everything. It's like, oh, those minifigures are kind of floating a little bit. They're not supposed to be doing that. That's because it's leftover backgrounds that I just threw in there because the backgrounds don't really matter. I wanted to see how the animation was going to look. Uh, so keep, keep that in mind. Um, So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little clip and I'll see you guys whenever I start uploading again in about two weeks. So thank you for watching and goodbye.